Alright guys, in this video, we're going to take this butane lighter, we're going to take it apart, see why it's doing what it's doing, put it back together, and go over some tips and tricks on how to adjust it. So, let's get into it. At first glance, we want to see what we can do to take it apart. I see there's a Phillips down here, right next to the fill port. So I think I'm going to have to remove that Phillips. Open it up here. Oh, and there's another one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's another Phillips right there, and there's a Phillips right here. I think by removing those two screws, oh, and see, this whole section right here comes right off the bottom. It's just the attachments, the lid, and then it looks like this sleeve slides off of here, and now we're at our tank, and then inside, there's a little tube that comes up to the top from my tank to where my um, orifice is. This is a butane lighter. So, let's take a look. When you push this plunger down for the light, it makes a spark. And it pushes these two levers down, which pushes a nozzle up, which allows the fluid to go up through. By adjusting this, there's a little flathead in the center is your fill port. By adjusting the outer ring depends upon how much fluid it allows to go up through this orifice up here in the top, which is connected to that tube. So, this is your igniter right here. This little long black thing. When you press this down, it moves this little that steel piece, and this piece comes down, and this is actually a slide in here right and down here at the bottom is where the actual igniter is so this comes down and it contacts with this and that contact makes a spark there's a wire that runs right back up from the bottom all the way up to the top I see absolutely nothing wrong with it inside of here so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together So, nothing was wrong inside, and how I did end up fixing this later was I took it, I lit it, put the flame out, and I just held it down like this, and I purged the tank. I wanted to make sure nothing was wrong inside, but what I did do is I purged the tank. So if you have a butane lighter that tends to not be firing or lighting like it should, and you have to, uh, and the flame seems like there's too much oxygen or too much fuel, um, nine times out of ten, if you just click it, put it out, drain the tank back down and refill it. Or you, sometimes you don't even have to drain it all the way. But the problem is that if there's too much liquid in it, so if you have too much fuel and there's too much liquid in this tank, it'll spit out the top. Um, I'd have to say that the slider is fixed. Other things, like I said, you take your flathead and you can get down in here and you can turn this little outer ring there's a plus and a minus on both sides this side is plus on this one this side is minus on this one and you just get in there and you can turn the little outer ring and what that's doing is that's moving that little piston that's inside there it's moving the orf nozzle closer or farther away it's not even it's barely even lighting I don't know if you can even see it so it's barely lighting right now so I'm going to go ahead, put my flat head in there, look for the plus, turn it towards the plus a little bit, give it a little turn. Oh, still needs more. Give it a little more. And that's pretty decent right there. You always want to flip the can upside down, lighter upside down. You put the can on your little tip, 
you press in, hold, let it off real fast, press in, hold, let it off real fast, then flip the lighter over, burp it a couple times, and you should be good to go. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.